constantly until it peaks to the next line and the next line is the, the end of the file. It'll break out. So that's what we want it to do. So we're going to say string line equals sr.readline. That's going to read the line of the file. And if you remember, the first line is the dimensions of the array. So we got to add that in here. So let's say if current y equals equals zero, then we're going to make our array. We're going to build it out. <clears throat> I'm going to put an else here. Okay, so string array equals dimensions equals line, the current line we just read, dot split. Now split is a badass feature. Basically, I just put split. So that first line that we read, it's going to read this line, and it's going to come to dimensions right here. Then it's going to find this little character, and it's going to make an, it's going to make an array of two items, the 18 and the 8. And that's perfect because that's what we need. We need the width and the height. So it's going to take this character and give us these two in an array. So we'll say width oops, width equals int dot parse and then dimensions 0. Now I'm lazy so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say height equals dimension 1. You get me? You with me? So the first, so that first one right here in the array, there's going to be two items, is 18, the width, the height is going to be 8. It's going to be the first, it's going to be the second one in the array, which is index 1. So, now we got to clear out all the the map data or the data. So we'll say do a for loop. 4x equals 0. x is less than height or width. My bad. x plus plus. Uh, what the heck? x plus plus. There we go. I'm going to copy this. We're going to do a nested loop. And this will be the y. Now, we'll say map data equals one. Oops, I gotta put the dimensions here. So x, y. Bam! So basically, we got that finished. We cleared out the map. So if there's one missing or something like that, and it has a negative one in it, we'll know to skip it in the draw when we go through all this. Now for the draw or for the reading part. So let's int current x equals zero. Okay, we're gonna do a for each for each character, which is char, and line dot two array. Okay, so we're gonna go through each we're going to turn this line that we read up above into an array. And then we're going to go through each number to figure out what it is and then assign it to the map data. So we're going to put some error checking in here. Try map current x, which is 0 up above, and then the current y, minus 1. Now the reason I'm minus and 1 is because... In an array, this would be 0, but we've already went to 0, which was this. So we have to offset it a little bit. If I make one more line, this would be minus 2. So you get me? So this equals uh, int.parse, and then we're going to say c.2 string. 
We're going to convert it to a string because the parser for int can only use a string. Okay, we'll put a catch down here in case we get an error. I'm just going to leave it blank. I'm just going to make a skip. So we got that. Fills up the thing. Oops. Now we have to plus this. So basically when we go through that first loop right here, it'll add 1 to x. So then this number right here in the array will match this. So you get what I'm saying? So we increment this for every character that we read in the array. Okay, and then we got to increment <clears throat> the y. That way, this number corresponds with what line we're on. Because it's going to come through, it's going to hit all this code, it's going to do all the x's. It's going to do the, this row, this loop does it. And then after it does that, it'll hit this, which when it comes back up to here, it's going to read the line again, or read the line, which it'll go to this line. And then it'll come back and do this again until it's at the end of the file. So that looks good. We got that. We got the load code. We're done with that. So let's put the draw code. Public, oops, void, draw, sprite batch. Okay, I'm going to copy some code right here. Bam. Easy as cake. <laughs> so I got... Up. Oh, I do this every time. This is wrong right here. This is height. So change that. So here we go. Okay, so we got to figure out some stuff here. Okay. So I'm going to make source... This is going to be the source y position. Equals 32 times map data x y. So what the hell is this? This is for what position we are at on the screen. Basically a y stands for where we're at in the array, right? In this array. But say array 1-1, one, one, it's not going to be at pixel 1-1. One, one. It's going to be at, we got to skip. we got to skip 32 pixels. The width and height of our tile map is 32. Or, I mean, the, the tiles themselves. So if we wanted something bigger, this is 32. So basically, when I'm drawing it on the screen, if I'm at array 1 or 0, I'm going to time 0 times 32, so my start's right here. So when I come through the ray, when I'm in at ray 1 for y, if I times it by 32, I'm right here, 32 pixels. So basically, that gets our position right to where it should be on the source rectangle and the destination rectangle. So, let's see here. <clears throat> We can take this code out. So I'm going to make the source rectangle, which is this reference. Okay. Thirsty. Now, source rectangle means. You tell the computer where the heck the drawing is on the rec or on that texture, or where the texture is in 2D coordinates, so like a square. So you tell it, hey, where is the picture I'm going to draw? So we got to give it coordinates. So let's say here, it's going to be zero for x, because if you look at our texture every texture has a zero it starts at zero see so if I wanted a source rect for this it would be 
me find information here. Info. Changes to pixels. It would be zero zero, see? And down here will be thirty two by thirty two. So X. Now source Y. That's what I was talking about. Um thirty two by thirty two. Now we're going to make a rectangle, or destination, where it goes to on the screen, where the picture... Okay, so rectangle, dest equals new rectangle. So it's going to be x times 32. y times 32. 32, 32. Bam! Easy. And we'll just draw it. Right back to just draw... Uh, I can't type. So it's texture. <clears throat> it's asking for the destination. It's going to ask for the source, if we have one, which we do. And it's going to ask for the color, which is white. So we're done with this class. So, let's go to the game. In here. We're going to put, well, we need to make our tile layer. So tile layer, I'm just going to call it the same damn thing. So tile layer, we put it in look, equals new. Where's the texture? Well, we got to load the texture, so content.load. Texture 2D, and then the name of our texture, which is texture, easily enough. The content path, so it's going to be content.root directory. Bam, we're done with that. Now we just got to tell the tile layer dot open map. And our map is called map1. And then. Right batch dot begin uh, tile layer dot draw right batch sprite batch dot end. Now let's build it first because sometimes it doesn't copy the map if you just hit play. So let's build it. Succeeded. Press play. Up. Oh, got an error. Let's see what this is all about. It says it's null, which might be true because we didn't initialize it. So we gotta say map data. Oops. Map data equals new. It's gonna be width, height. And I also forgot one more other thing. We need to go down here, the draw, we're in the tile layer. We're gonna say. if equals negative one or does not equal negative one then do it take the times out of there bam so let's play it and here's the result we got that stupid little map I made but look at this so I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna put some blank spaces in here See what happens. Okay. So let's play that. Bam! See, it's transparent now. It skipped over. See? Easy enough. Well, you guys got any comments, questions, just leave them. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Later. Oh, also... You can download the project uh, underneath on the video. All right.